biggest problem of all with statin drugs is they indiscriminately lower cholesterol. And cholesterol is part of the digestive system. Did you know this? Cholesterol is involved in how we process our foods. Cholesterol is important for the extraction of essential fatty acids and fatty vitamins and fatty nutrients from vegetables. All the good stuff, you know how they say you're supposed to eat vegetables all day and you're supposed to eat lots of veggies and lots of colors. I say it here on this program. And Why is that? Well, veggies contain something called phytonutrients. Well, those phytonutrients are extracted out of the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts and the, and the tomatoes and the potatoes and whatever veggies you're eating via the action of cholesterol, a specific kind of cholesterol. You know what it's called? This is a very, very specific kind of cholesterol. It's called bile, B-I-L-E, yes, bile. Bile is cholesterol. It's a little tweaked version of cholesterol. How do you like that? Of all the, uh, add to all the wonderful things that cholesterol does for our brains and for our muscles and as part of the uh, uh, steroid hormone synthesis and part of vitamin D, now you can add digestive support. And if you take your statin drugs, you're not going to be making bile. Oh, is that going to be important? You better believe it's going to be important. Bile, in addition to helping the body extract these things, in addition to helping the body extract vitamin E from foods, which is you know, not even found in foods that much. So you want every little last vitamin E molecule you can get out of your seeds or out of your fish or whatever it is you're eating. So not only, is, uh, not only does a, a bile help you extract these things, these fatty vitamins and fatty nutrients and phytonutrients, but bile's also detoxifying. It cleans the body. It gets rid of heavy metals. It gets rid of prescription drugs. It gets rid of rancid hormones. It gets rid of anything fatty. Bile gets dumped out into the large intestine and you excrete all these things. Without cholesterol, if you're taking a statin drug, you're not making bile toxins. Toxins will build up. You won't be getting your vitamins, your, your fatty vitamins. If you're taking a statin drug, your risks of death from nutritional deficiencies and toxicities can't help but increase just using common sense. This is the medical stupidity. This, is the, this exemplifies the, what I call medical stupidity. It's because we get deluded by statistics. Statin drugs are supposedly good for us if we have heart, heart disease because they're statistically beneficial. The medical industry wants us to believe that statin drugs are a health tool. Yeah, we know, we know they're cytotoxic, meaning they kill cells. We know they've got to be purified by the body's detoxification system in the liver. We know you're using up nutrients to, to help detoxify the statin drugs. But we, do know, we also know that statin drugs will reduce your risk of a heart attack by 6.8%. Well, what does that mean, 6.8%? I'm talking here hard facts, cytotoxic, kill cells, hard facts. It deprives your body of, 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 of bile and steroid hormones, and vitamin D, all the things that we make from cholesterol. These are hard facts. But then you compare them to, the, to the, this medical idea of, oh, reduces your risks of heart attacks by 6.8% in people who have already had a heart attack on Wednesday. This is the, uh, this is the craziness of using statistics. This is from reading from the journal Current Atherosclerosis Reports. All right, we'll come back. I'll finish this up when we come back and get your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number on Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, talking health, common sense health. And you know what? Sometimes you'll hear things on this program that you haven't heard anywhere else before because we don't have a lot of common sense in the world of health, unfortunately, certainly not in the world of medicine. According to the journal Medical Hypothesis, statin drugs have been shown to lower all levels or levels of all fatty vitamins, vitamins D, E, A, and K, which makes perfect sense when you figure that cholesterol is needed to make bile. If you take a statin drug, you're not going to make cholesterol and you're not going to make bile. Contrast this with the medical position. Reading from the journal Current Atherosclerosis Reports, Dr. Greg Fonero from UCLA writes, quote, 
Despite the compelling scientific and clinical trial evidence that lipid-lowering medications, that is statin drugs, reduce mortality in patients after a acute myocardial infarction, that is a heart attack, this life-saving therapy continues to be underutilized, unquote. So this guy, Dr. Fonero, will tell you that it's a life saving therapy to be on a drug that kills cells, to be on a drug that stops your body from making cholesterol, to be on a drug that requires purification like a poison, that this is a life-saving strategy. Why? How does, what's the basis of this guy's uh, uh, clinical evidence, his clinical and compelling scientific evidence, as he says? Well, here's an example. This is from an uh, article published by the Center of York Centers for Reviews and Dissemination. This is a statistical study. And this is pretty much sums up the medical position. Statin drugs reduce cardiovascular disease mortality or non-fatal heart attack by 25% with an absolute risk reduction of 3.8%. Statins also reduced all-cause mortality by 16% and uh, uh, congestive heart failure mortality by 23%. Well, what does this mean? What are they talking about? This is how they know that statin drugs work because it will reduce absolute risk reduction by 3.8%. Does anybody, I defy anybody to tell me what that means. Statin, this is why people are getting poisoned on statin drugs and why guys, nice people probably, like Dr. Fonero, feel like these things are underutilized because they know that statin drugs will reduce CH, uh, cardio, uh, uh, congestive heart failure with an absolute risk reduction of 3.8%. You know, this is, why, this is the basis for us being poisoned because they can't tell you that an individual will be better off by taking a statin drug. Because no individual will be better off by taking a statin drug. This is why the three kinds of lies are lies, damn lies, and statistics. That's from Mark Twain, I believe. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. Because statistics are lies. For the individual, these statistics only measure large groups of people. The individual isn't going to be better off because he's taking a poison. He can't be better off. But from a statistical perspective, you'll have an absolute risk reduction of 3.8%. I, I have no clue what that means. It means that you have a non-risk reduction of 96.2%. What's the other 96%? Where do these, does anybody understand this? The hardest course I ever took in, in college was statistics, because I still don't understand it. It's despite statistical successes, if they are there, and there, there's controversy on that too, you cannot under any circumstances say that taking a, a prescription medication, chronically ingesting a prescription medication over the course of time is good for you. It is not good for you. Never mind the fact that it allows us to, to be fooled into eating and drinking and living the way we live that caused the heart attack in the first place. Never mind it disguises these basic things. This, when we understand these basic phenomena that are behind our heart disease and our cardiovascular health problems, we won't need doctors. Elevated cholesterol, heart disease, diabetes, all of these reasons why our, our, our heart gives out, these are all lifestyle issues, and they follow dirty blood. And they, uh, they follow sick cells. Dirty blood, sick cells. That's it, folks, when it comes to chronic long-term degenerative breakdown diseases, which hundreds of, uh, 100 million-plus people in this country and hundreds of millions of people around the world confront every day in contradistinction to the divine mandate of the human body. We are in strict violation of how the human body is supposed to work and how the, how the human body is supposed to run. But that's good news because it means we can turn this thing around and we can turn it around quickly no matter what your health challenge is because it's in the body's nature to heal because the body's a healing system. Whatever your health challenge is, you can begin to turn it around by picking up the phone and calling 844-236-6010 right now and getting on, the, getting on the air and we'll help you out. All right. Let's go to Irene in San Diego. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on, Irene? Hi. Yes, I am taking the um, tangy tangerine, beyond tangy tangerine, and the minerals, and I want to get some EFAs, but I can't take pills. You can so. do, well, a couple things you could do. First of all, if you're using the longevity products and you want to use the ultimate EFAs, the EFA Plus, stick a little pin in there and squeeze it in your smoothie. Okay. Or mix it in with a little apple cider vinegar and make yourself a salad. 
So that's one way to do it. And then if, if you know, you, it's harder to do it that way and you're going to leave some oil in the gel cap, it's not the most efficient way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also get liquid oils. I like Udo's blend. That's my favorite. And Udo is the go-to the go -to, uh, researcher and scientist on when it comes to uh, essential fatty acids. And, mm -hmm. and he's a friend of mine and I know Udo, so I trust him and his product. Udo's blend. Uh, and there's different varieties. I like the high lignin Udo's blend. So you can either stick a, a pin in the, in the gel cap or uh, you can uh, go buy liquid oil. And you know what else? If you, for folks who can't take capsules, an old pharmacy trick is to mix it in applesauce, and the applesauce will, the capsule will slide down your throat with the applesauce. That's okay. good for kids, too. Okay, good. Does that help? It does. And then I have kind of a weird question. If, yeah. um, doc, I know Dr. Wallach doesn't agree with, like, eating oil, right? That's doc. Yes, Doctor Wallach does. Says no oils. Okay, so what's the deal with the EFAs on? Is, or is that well, the EFAs are protected in the gel cap. I, I, I don't necessarily, uh -huh. you know, I'm not as personally. I don't have that same opinion. Oils. Okay. I say be careful with oils. Okay. Doc says avoid them entirely. Now you'll have to make your own decision on that. And uh, I don't know. You know, I agree with Doc most of the time, but on this one I don't yeah. because I find oils too valuable. And I've seen the results of, of, of especially on the skin. Uh, I've seen results from people who start supplementing with oils, and I know in my own personal life I've supplemented with oils, and I know the difference. So I have a different opinion than Doc, but uh, nonetheless, his point is well taken in the sense that you have to be careful with oils because of their tendency to go rancid and become unstable. Right. Uh, vitamin E is protective against that. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Good deal. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Irene, for calling. Okay. Let's move on to... Glenn in PA. What is up, Glenn? Where are you in Pennsylvania? How are you? Hey, Glenn. Where, um, where in Pennsylvania are you? No, uh, northeast, north, northern suburbs of Philadelphia. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. What's going on? Where it's, where it's a whole 10 degrees this morning. We went from, like, ridiculously warm weather to single digits. I heard it was, like, 70 degrees for Christmas or something. Yep. Yeah, but it's been like that, and then it just dropped like a rock. No, oh, no kidding. Well, I don't feel sorry for you one little bit, oh, Glenn, okay, in Pennsylvania. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. we haven't had a, well, it's been getting warm here, but it's been, it's, it's been a cold Colorado winter. What's going on, man? Okay. How can we help you? Um, oh, well, just don't know me. I have, I have a more important molecule for you. Which one? Um, H2O. Or H2O. Ah, I mean one that the body makes. Yes, obviously H2O is probably more important. Like but one that the body like makes. I, oh, I'd like to hold, if I may. Yes, please hold, Glenn. And thanks for, thanks for bringing that up. Yes, indeed, H2O is more important than cholesterol. But for a biomolecule, I, if anybody out there has a more important one, I want to know what that is. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the bright side, Glenn in PA, Philadelphia, PA. What's going on, my man? All right, uh, Ben. Here's the lineup. Here's the pitch. You can knock it out of the park for me. Okay. I have an, I'm a 55 year old RN who has an 87 year old father. is about 14 years post op for quad bypass, and is still on lovastatin. He's uh, also on an anti Parkinsonian now because uh, he's you know starting to get Parkinson's. He's still ambulatory, alert oriented, active productive and driving, but he's not going to remain that way if this keeps up. What do I do? Uh, you know, here's the, th and uh, I've talked to you before. Have you and I talked before? No, so, several times, yeah. Several times. Okay, here's the deal, Glenn. Um, and I appreciate, you know, I appreciate your, your medical knowledge and, and also being an RN. RNs are awesome, awesome human beings, and I'm really grateful for the work you do. I've, I've been in hospitals as a patient, as a pharmacist, and RNs are awesome. So, Thank you for that. Here's the deal. Glenn, as far as your dad goes, and everybody out there listening with a dad who's got heart problems and who's on medication and who you want to keep your dad around for a long period of time or a friend or mother or whatever, here's the thing, or child or kid, here's the thing, Glenn, and I don't mean to be harsh, but I'm going to be completely blunt. M-Y-O-B, mind your own business. You follow me, buddy? Glenn, okay. I, know he, I know he's your dad. And he could be your kid. We have to mind our own business. Health is, uh, helping people with their health is personal. They have to want it. The last right. thing anybody wants to do is have somebody intrude in their lives when they don't want help. You follow me? And so oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying he's resistant. He's, he's very receptive. To, okay, then um, if he's receptive, to, yeah. that's awesome. Get him on liquid nutrition right away. Oh, that's a great, if he's receptive, that's awesome, Glenn. I, I thought you meant he wasn't mm -hmm. receptive and you were trying to convince him. Oh, no, no. 
I, I Good. don't know. It's just that it's that That's awesome. My, he, my brother, we're concerned about the statin and the and Here's, her okay, this, yeah. Well, let me f- f- let's let's put that aside for now. Right away, get him on liquid nutrition. Anybody, okay. and this is true for 